listen, man, um, I would never talk about nobody that's always nice to me. Kevin is funny. You know what I mean? I love him. He's funny. Him. The movies, I, I can't even, I be waiting on his movie. Ain't listen, no nigga messing with Kevin them damn movies. Hey, listen, it, Kevin Just, is funny. I love the movies. I love Kevin. I love, what I really love about Kevin is everything in this circle is eating. Joy, Harry. All of them. All of them is millionaires. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But I'll yeah. tell you what, they need this can't f with me on stage. If niggas see me on stage for an hour, y'all don't know exactly what comedy is. But if you keep following the followers and you keep following the likes, then you part of the problem. Wow. I, I tell you, I wanna ask you like what city sticks out to you that show you the most love when you go to it? Man, you know what? It's really everybody, not trying to be cocky, but everybody show me love because when I go out there, when I hop on stage, I'm really not performing for the people. You know what I'm saying? This might be kind of funny, you know, deep to y'all, but when I get on stage, you know what I see? I be seeing angels all in the head, all in the audience tickling people. Really? Because when I perform, right, I believe in God, so mm -hmm. I'm a Christian. So when, when I perform for the heavens, so I got my forefathers up there. Come on now. You know what I mean? That's whole and then way. I, like that I got analogy. the forefathers. I got my ancestors. You know, then I got my angels sitting around and watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Jesus walked me into the kingdom. Then hey, God watched so you done played this all so out. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's every time I get on stage, I'm like, come on, y'all ready to turn up? Wow. And we just take over. So it don't matter if it's one person in the audience, 10,000 people in the audience. I'm on a whole spirit, different spiritual level. You know what I mean? And one thing about the uh, the devil, you no, know, he came. That's why he came. See, God came. He came to, he made us out of dust. And dust we come, and du that's dust we come, and dust we should yeah, go. But yeah. the devil came in a burning flame. Yeah. He came down to burning flame. That's why your, your, your flesh burned. When your flesh burned, you know what I mean? The, uh, uh, the Bible says that he is, to get it back, to get your soul back, man, it's no price. It, your your soul is being held ransom. You can't get, it's no price you can pay to get that motherfucker back. Wow. Your soul is like a burning beast. Wow. That's why you see these niggas, they gotta go here, they gotta go there. Ooh, they just go here, they, all, they flesh on fire. <laughs> I mean, they gotta go there, they gotta go there. Nigga, ooh, yeah, it's going down, yeah, ooh. Nigga, be, oh, shit, it's going down, yeah. Going down. You know, and niggas flesh burn so much, that's why they have no ability to be loyal to their wife. Wow. Because your flesh is burning, nigga. You only loyal to your flesh. Wow. You know what I mean? So now, the minute you, when you get a wife, you can't have a wife. You can only purchase her because you was purchased. Wow. You see wow. what I'm saying? So that's why your wife become part of the, you know, you just a goddamn actor. You just, mm -hmm. You're in a stage play, nigga. Everything you're doing is a production. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. You know, it's dead end. So it's, it's a little deep, but when I hit the stage, nigga, they just can't f with, you know, it's not that I'm better than everybody. But I'm better than everybody because only I can do me like me. Wow, and you know you self aware. Yeah, you I'm, know yourself. And then in between me and the rest of the community, they talk from here. They talk. They trend. These niggas trending. I ain't trending, nigga. I'm talking shit. I lived through shit. I've been it. through That's shit. All. I done lived through it. You know, God. I took my pain and was able to manifest it into philosophy and a gift and funny. You don't even see my punchlines coming, nigga. Wow. What do you think about Kevin Hart? Oh, man, you know what? Listen, man, um, I would never talk about nobody that's always nice to me. Kevin is funny. You know what I mean? I love him. He's I love funny. Him. The movies, I, I can't even, I be waiting on his movie. Ain't listen. no nigga messing with Kevin them damn movies. Hey, listen, it, Kevin Just, is funny. I love the movies. I love Kevin. I love, what I really love about Kevin is everything in this circle is eating. Joy, Harry. All of them. All of them is millionaires. All of them get along and all of, he got the same crew. He ain't switching crews. He got the same crew. And regardless of what he going through or what he been through, the dude is funny. And I just, I, I think highly of Kevin Hart. I think he brilliant, I think he funny. And you know, I just wish him, you know, more success. Number, number yeah, because when I look Kevin in the eye, you know what I'm saying, or I look any of these niggas in the eye, you know what I mean, whatever I say about you on tape, nigga, I'm saying it in your of face. Of course. You know what I mean? So if I don't like you, nigga, I'm going to let you know. But 
And usually if I talk about a nigga on tape, I'm gonna catch a fade with you first before I go talk about you. Damn. So I really only like talking about niggas in they on camera, not unless I'm gonna beat their ass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't fight no more like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that boy that, that you make me think of Carlos when you say yeah. like, oh, you're preaching now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know you're that piece, but I, I ain't fight no more. I just um just trying to, you just trying to, man. man. You, we at an age now, man, where really you can help a lot of the kids, like those, yeah. like those people that's coming up. All of the, uh, the, the, the Bubba Dubs, the Country Waynes, yeah. All those people, man, they they definitely are coming up in a different uh, Desi Banks. They all yeah. coming up different than what you guys did. Yeah, well, I be trying to help niggas deeper. Like them niggas already made. I like to help the niggas over in the juvenile det- detention. You know, what you mean? I'm talking about the comedians. That's oh yeah, the already- comedians. I can always help them. Like they. The young comedians are very respectful and super cool. I haven't really met no disrespectful young. Every comedian I meet, especially the youngsters, you know, from Desi Banks, super cool. Every last one, I'm so I really ain't got no. I really don't have. I suck my can't go viral. I ain't got nobody to talk about. <laughs> I remember I, I met everybody. Hey, you know, say, you know we viral. talking about the kid Ralph Barbosa, and uh, I met him at the airport. Me and my wife, we uh, flew back from New York on the same flight. And Ralph, super respectful, bro. Yeah. The little Hispanic guy, yeah. man, that dude. Super he is respectful. so nice when I bro, see him. Bro, I talked to this he dude. He's like, yo, I just love you, you know. <laughs> like, I've been watching you, OG. He's just like chilling, man. He's he he just chilling. But, man, um, everybody show me love. And I love everybody. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, and, but unfortunately, you know, um, love don't necessarily mean blessings you know what I'm saying because it's not that type of it's not a business where I can put you on I can give yeah, you like, like that. No. it's not that type of business you know when people like you or love you you know and it's beautiful because it allowed me to walk around in peace and not hold guns and not have animosity so I make sure I keep niggas names out of my mouth if I ain't got nothing good to say about them wow and, yeah. and like I said when I asked you about Kevin and, and these guys, I know you know them and or have been in the same room at yeah. some point. Me and Kevin, so, we used to shoot dice for hours. No, we said <laughs> that's like, why I ask you about them because I well, know I said, hey, you man, gonna give me some. That little nigga can shoot some dice, man. <laughs> I'm talking about. We had a show in Kentucky one time, and I swear to God, we shot dice. And at the time, we wasn't really making that much money. Kev was making money. I think he made like three thousand. I made like fifteen hundred, right? And we shot dice so long that we was borrowing. Each other money from each other. I get all the money. I right, leave me three thousand. I get back. Now I give three thousand. And man, we shot until our plane got ready. We missed until we 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 shot from two o'clock that morning to about three o'clock the next day. Damn. I'd have been I, there. Literally. Like, we just like shooting dice, you know what I mean? So, um. He, he a dice uh, shoot nigga. Yeah, he, I, I like that. I've been not catching nigga. I'm, I don't even play the fade. Yeah, I don't want nothing on the fade. Something. That nigga. nigga, that nigga can gamble. That nigga can gamble. You know, when it comes to that shooting dice, you know what I'm saying? I know he could. I know he could. He, he good at what he do. Well, that's the that's the reason I ask you about him because I know you got them hidden stories. The JB Smooth, the all these different people that I admit you've been working so hard and so JB long. JB Smooth, you've been working a long time. I know you know him. Hey, me and JB Smooth, <laughs> we did a movie together years ago. <laughs> me, JB Smooth, Corey Holcomb, yeah, Red Grant. Uh, I think Cat Wheels was in it. Uh, what cat? What name? Did it, it, it come called, out? I think it was Cat, but it was called the Watermelon Heist. And, we, and it was John Amos. Damn, was the, John was the, Amos. It was father. And um, he we always was, played, we was played country bunker niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we was trying to steal this, pack, this big watermelon. <laughs> for the, Who and, produced this, man? Yeah, uh, John Amos' son. Oh, damn. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a crazy movie, but it was funny because we all just started. And, um, I played like this. I played opposite. I played uh, this cat named Whitey, okay. which was a big old goofy ass, you know, brother who just when she, you know, like act like a white boy. That's why you call me Whitey. I was come on, you guys. I was acting like a golfer. I just oh damn. I just act like my favorite black golfer, right? <laughs> <laughs> All I did. <laughs> but anyway, man, me and JB Smooth, man, we had some man. man had some I, I like yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.